Hey guys, Abbasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Abbasu. Hey, we're out here checking out this four bedroom, four bath pool home. Hang out with us, check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right guys, this is 3815 Breakwater Drive. It was just listed a couple weeks ago for 850. We're out here checking out for a client to check out its viability for a vacation rental Airbnb type setup as it is a four bedroom pool home and has a massive amount of square footage. So we're checking it out. It's a nice street. The house next door is a little run down, but typically all nice on the street. Looks like the neighbors next door wrapped up a garage sale. Grab the key and check it out. So you have a nice little courtyard entry. It's nicely landscaped, kind of a Southwest style architecture. Double door entry. Let's go on and check it out. All right, guys, this is a four bedroom, four bath pool home built in 1992. 3,220 square feet has three master suites. So it has this kind of a open foyer when you walk in. You have your garage door access. So this sits on a 11,456 square foot lot that backs to a wash. This is what we would call a reverse tuck under as it is two levels, but still considered single story as it goes down in the rear and level to the street. So you have a couple uh, skylights, nice and bright in here. You have stairs down to the lower level and a living area. Double doors out to a patio. Vaulted ceilings. So you have a pretty cool uh, covered upper deck patio, or at least half of it's covered. It goes all the way the length of the whole house. Might as well check it out while we're up here. Got a couple little lake shots. So you can see the tip of the island. This is a perfect spot to watch the fireworks. You have a little staircase down to the pool area, a couple little seating areas. So you have the kitchen at the rear of the house, granite tops, a little island with a, a sink, glass tile backsplash. So there is a dumb waiter in here. So this is a dumb waiter. I'm not sure if they have it like this, just so people can see there's a dumb waiter or it doesn't work or what, but that goes downstairs. You have a little uh, walk-in pantry. So this kind of just wraps around into kind of like a formal dining area. Another door out to the patio and then the front entrance again. So we're gonna go check out the front bedroom by the entry here. You have a double door entry. Again, this one has three master suites. So you have a gas starter fireplace, plantation shutters, You have a double glass door slider, little closet, it's not very deep. And then you have a master bath, granite tops, cool bowl sinks, can lights. You have another walk-in closet back here. And at the end you have a jetted tub, toilet, skylight in here, and your tiled walk-in shower. 
All right, let's go see what else we can find. So we're back at the front entry off the kitchen and formal dining area. So we're just gonna kind of go. You have your little guest bathroom, has a skylight. You have your indoor laundry and another access door to the garage, which we'll check out in a minute. And then another bedroom, plank tile floors, look like vinyl. Double door out to the little view deck patio. This is another master suite. So here's your little master suite bath, has a towel closet, granite tops, skylight in here as well. Door to the toilet and shower. Have a little linen closet. So before we check out the garage, we're gonna go downstairs and see what we can find. Get that vinyl plank flooring down here. So you have a whole nother living area down here. Another fireplace with a, a gas starter. This house is on propane. Again, the entire square footage of the house is 3,320 square feet. Double door out to the pool area. Here's your dumbwaiter return at the bottom here. I think they just had it open so we know what it is. Nice uh, granite top bar with seating, stainless dishwasher, little beer fridge, have a little under stair closet for all the booze. So you got a hallway with another uh, couple bedrooms. You have a guest bath. It's the first one you run into. Granite tops, bowl type sink again. This Jack and Jill's into a, another guest bedroom. Slider out to the pool area. Also has a walk-in closet. Here's a little walk-in closet. So you have a linen closet on your left here, and at the end of the hallway, you have another bedroom. This is the only one that does not have a master suite. There is a slider out to the pool area. They have also converted the walk-in closet to a bunk room with three bunks. All right, so you have a three-car garage, all tile floors, you have a two car side that's 24 feet deep. A couple storage closets. Both have eight foot insulated doors. They actually have two access points to the garage. You have a 31 foot boat deep bay on this side, access to the side yard. Looks like they have a swamp cooler. All right, let's go check out the pool. So you have a fully covered, full length back patio as well, down at the pool area. Have your circular staircase up to the view deck upstairs, little closet, ceiling fans. Looks like there was integrated speakers. You have a pretty big pool, has pop-up cleaners. Probably use a little acid wash. Big spa. Cool decks coming up in a couple little spots, but that's a pretty common thing out here now and why most people don't do cool deck concrete uh, decking anymore. So again, this one backs to a wash to give you some privacy. It's the second big pool I've seen in two days after I just finished telling somebody that all the pools in Havasu are super small. <laughs> Here's your little uh, 
shot of the wash. Doesn't look like it runs too much. So this one is super conducive to a Airbnb vacation rental. I think that's what they're using it for right now and why we are out here checking it out. They want those master suites. All right, guys, have a Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed the quick little walk through the house over here on Breakwater Drive. Again, this one was just listed about two weeks ago for $8.50. I'll put a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you guys get all the original listing pictures, current price, and availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is right below this video. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.